Hi everyone, welcome back to Poluchi Loy TV. Happy New Year once again. If you are just seeing me now, hello and welcome. I welcome everybody. Welcome to Oluchi Loy TV. Happy New Year if you are just seeing me. <laughs> My people, hmm, I don't like what is going on in Nigeria. How can somebody who passed away two years ago? We be people will be still be dragging the dead, be dragging the dead, be dragging the dead. I don't know where people conscience go to. I don't know where where people conscience go. I don't know. Especially this woman, what they call Busola. Busola has been dragging TB Joshua. She has been dragging TB Joshua. She has cried, cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. She has complained, complained, even when TB Joshua is alive. He couldn't be able to pull the man's down. Now the man don't cry. You still they drag this man like I pass my neighbor Nigeria generator. I don't know what is wrong with the people. I don't know what is all this problem. Why we say now no they rest for dragon Nigerians? Why we say Una no one just rest? The man do you this, do you that, you not tell people this and that, you do you that. Why you not tell the wife? Why you not tell church members? Immediately you get a problem with the man, you don't come off for the church, you begin the talk. I don't just my issue now is whether the man do a more or you know do a more, but this man don't why is it necessarily is it is this just necessary now because it's late? The man don't die. So what all this confession drag here and there? Wait him be the thing, he won't carry the <clears throat> my people are back. Come and watch this video because when I because I've been seeing this post since this year. There's a BBC documentary, their own documentary, every time documentary, documentary, IPOP documentary, TV Joshua documentary. On another do documentary for where that BBC come from, not from UK, but now where it come from. Wanna do documentary, how to take on rise Nigeria, conquer the full and the people, give uh, give us made the rulers. Wanna do documentary about that, what do you want to do to our people during the Biafran, Biafran war? Mona do documentary how on a take take us as entire people when I go join everybody together. When we say we are not meant to be together. Some of them carry religious for head, Islamic for head, some of them carry uh, this one for head. So when I know do documentary, how all those things now carry people come jump together by first by first, say there must be one. BBC gonna 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 when I do documentary about that. Every time unnecessary documentary this, documentary that, documentary this, documentary, we no go rest. Every now and then documentary, documentary. We are getting tired now. But this last documentary you people did is unnecessary. It's not necessary. Why you people didn't do the documentary when T.P. Joshua was alive? When T.P. Joshua is alive, why not no do that documentary that time? Because T.P. Joshua Church has been there even before people they start before Biafra people start their agitation okay before the Biafra people agitation so my people this is the watch this video just watch this video leave your opinion below what do you think about this particular uh, thing happening right now just put your own opinion thank you everyone for watching please give this video a thumbs up share like and uh, feel free to leave me your comments below thank you so much bye for now somebody will go and begin to bring out tb jetua let's prophet tb jetua there are people are saying he raped this one raped this one a man that have died for almost one year if not more than one year you are bringing the story of a dead man which court will the two of you judge it you will go and meet him in the grave to judge it bringing all these things people don't know these things are being sponsored by satanic world to destroy the church of jesus christ to, to tell you that all the men of god are fake if there is fake that is original the other day a girl came out and said that uh, apostle Suleiman slept with her do you watch it that time i was one of them that spoke at that time i don't know these people <laughs> but when a girl came out and said that somebody slept with her that she's now a born again she want to confess why didn't she confess the whole people that slept with her why will it be only one person that means it's set up this is
this are game some of them are collecting money to discredit the church to destroy the integrity of the man of god this is what jesus says there will be a lot of persecution this is the activities of antichrist there are so many church leaders that are living a terrible life yes we know that but this game you see on social media is deliberate some people are sponsoring it it's all over the world to destroy the church to destroy the institution of jesus christ that is why matthew 8 16 18 19 20 jesus made it so clear he says peter you are the rock and on this rock i build my church and the gates of hell shall never prevail there is deliberate attack against the church this is the last days that is why the church should wake up and if you're a christian anytime they bring out one man of god's story that you are not well you are not sure you carry it on your head you need deliverance somebody that have died you are bringing the matter these people that are talking now, where are they when he was alive? Am I speaking to somebody here? Yes, yes, sir. These are satanic agenda. Judas collected money. Judas collected money, but he did not live to eat the money. That is why I told them, even all this security that normally stay around the altar everybody has to be checkmated by now My, because the enemy cannot attack you successfully without information of those close to you some of them will be very close to me snap picture with me after snapping picture they go out and begin to say things some of them will even say that him they know brother Ebuka very well to be very honest before the lord god who called me all these gallant men now that surround this place i don't know any, i only know one person by name the rest i don't know their name do you understand what i mean by this i can recognize the fate of some of them but i don't know their name except this one here that shows there is no closeness in that wait if i am so close in my Africa, i will know their name how many will we have thousands of zion workers there are antichrist agenda this is agenda they are everywhere on the media most of the media you see are so corrupt and you must know that the media is controlled by satan The church must wake up to know that we are in the last days. They want to rubbish the name Jesus, but it will not happen in my watch. The more they want to rubbish it, the more that name will be working miracle for me and Zion. Because I strongly believe in the name Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4 verse 12 There is no other name given unto man How we can be saved Except the name Jesus And the Bible says in Philippians 2 verse 9 He gave him the name that is above every other name And the mention of Jesus Every name shall bow I don't longer preach Jesus that I study I preach Jesus that I have encountered That is why if you are a good Christian You must encounter Jesus That is the only way you can stand firm You can stand firm If you don't encounter him You cannot stand firm that is why I laugh at people that say, when I was a Christian, I don't know, because you refuse to know. And when I was going to Catholic, I was blind. You choose to be blind when you are going to Catholic. I used to watch those things. Uh, when I was a Catholic, I was blind. It's since I left the Catholic Church. Uh, that I begin to see you, you are 
you need deliverance. Me, my eyes open in the Catholic Church, and my ministerial calling must end in the Catholic Church. If the church is doing what is wrong, all of us will stand to say, we no agree on this. But that is not the way why we should leave the church. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, sir. We are in the last days. Just hear any news about one man of God now. This man of God, some of all these things are pastors, so they normally ask him. Somebody can wear a suit as a pastor in Ghana. At film where he's putting hand in a private part of a woman. They film their acting. They will cut that place. They say, we saw one pastor. Look at what one pastor is doing. There will be two million views. Criticizing the church. This is the holy institution. It's institution of love. Institution of miracle. This is where I belong. It must be a good Christian. Tell that person, be a good Christian. Be a good Christian. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes, yes, sir. Be a good Christian. Stand firm. You don't need to be a church goer. A church goer. Many of you are too sacramental, but you don't know two quotations in the Bible. It's a shame. You are the kind of people that will come tomorrow. You say, eh, eh, what am, why am I going to do in the church? Many church, many people that go to church have never encountered God. You have baptized the way I was baptized. But there is one baptism you need. Holy Ghost baptism. If you are not yet baptized that one, you must always open yourself for the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 19, Peter was asking them, since you baptized, have you received the Holy Ghost? They said, we don't understand what you are saying. Many of you we are baptizing like me, infant baptism, but no Holy Ghost baptism. That is why John made it so clear in the book of Mark and Matthew. He said, Somebody is coming after me. That person is mightier than I am. I am not worthy to bend down to lose his sandal. I will decrease and he will increase. We are in a big mess. Because even men of God are fighting their own because they have they have the spirit of antichrist. He's pulling crowd. What matters is what you are giving to those crowd. Do you have a good food to give them? If you are feeding your ch children very well at home, they will not go out to beg for food outside. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. Children that go out to beg for food in the village are the ones that are not being fed very well. Are you ready to give your life to Christ? Yes. How many will still stand with Jesus Christ in this season? And most of you Christians, that when you hear something about one man of God, you carry it on your head. You have to be careful. I know the truth. Most of all this, this one, the Lord has been telling me, uh, both men and women will come out tomorrow and say, you can't sleep with them. The Lord has been telling me, Man, I can share by you. You can charge at the age of 80 today. In any man, you are too much. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Give your life to Christ. Tell the Lord, I'm sorry. Stand up for one minute. Mm -hmm. As I look, as I look. And the cross, and I behold my Savior there. Ask him to forgive you. And I heard the voice it is finished. And I cried and shout, oh Confess your sins now. Behold, I 